Hi guys, Sean here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be just doing like a build and buy overview or first impressions of the Sims 4 vampires. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right into create a sim. Alright guys, so we are here in the create a sim and we're just going to go ahead and do a simple overview of what the young adults have for male and female because I really do not feel like going through teenagers and all of that and man is this really loud just, like, just try to turn that down a little bit okay I'm sorry about that uh, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of an overview of what they have I do know that they have a couple new features on like your face and all that you've got like whatever all of these are vampire brows and all of these new features so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a simple overview of all of them so you've pretty much got these new brow shapes and there have three types or you just don't have to choose one at all but I think I'm gonna do this one because it's not too extreme like those other two and then you also have some vampire sockets I'll probably go with this one looks not too dark but looks good then you have some of these these are like some cracks in your eyes and all of that I think I'll probably go with this one and then you have some stuff for your cheeks I like this one I might just do that side maybe I'll do both sides uh, no I just like one side and then you've got a mouth let's see I'll probably just go with that one and then some fangs so cool I think I'm gonna do that one or this one, I don't know. Ooh, that one's got gold teeth. Let's try, I think I'm going to do this one, because it looks pretty cool to me. And then you also have a couple new hairstyles. So we'll just go down here, vampires. You've got f five new hairstyles, and I'm pretty sure this one is for males as well. I really like this one. This one looks pretty cool. I'm just going to go ahead and probably choose this brown. But you also have all of these other styles as well. I'm just going to choose the brown. And did I miss, like, the vampire ears? Vampire archetypes? Oh, that looks cool. I like this one. I like that one. I really like this one. I'm going to choose this one. Okay, let me just go ahead and just manipulate her body a little bit. Right here. <laughs> doing some simple little things. I might just go into a preset. Yeah, I think I, I'm going to do probably that one. Just go ahead and do that. Okay, that looks nice. So I really like this body. I'm just going to go ahead and go and see what they've got in for some of the shirts. So they have four new options for some shirts. You've got this one, which I actually kind of like. And that actually looks pretty cool, especially how it's see-through. Um, also, this shirt doesn't look half bad either. And this one looks pretty cool. I'm seeing that I'm getting a little bit of vibes from late 1900s, not late 1900s, late 1800s, early 1900s. I think that's what they're probably trying to go for. I really like this shirt right here that she's wearing right now. And I'm just going to do one outfit because... I don't feel like doing all of them. And then you have four new styles for jeans as well, or pants, or whatever whatever you want to call them. I don't know. So you just have those four, and then I know you have some leggings and some new accessories for vampires. So you have five new leggings, and you've got three new accessories. So I think that I'm going to put her in some leggings actually that doesn't look good with this shirt but i think i will do some leggings because they look pretty cool let me see if they have a style that i like i like that white one right here and i'll just I guess put her in this black top right there let's do that okay i'm so dumb and then i'll just put are these boots new no those are from get to work 
or get together, whatever it's called, I forget. So you have two new styles of boots. I actually really like these, how the backs are exposed, and then you have these, which don't look bad either. I think I'm going to keep those on her. So those are all of the things you have for them. I'm just going to go ahead and do a one style of look that we have. Got that one. So that looks pretty nice. But I'm just going to go ahead and just keep with what I already had before. Okay, and now let's go ahead and see the traits that we have. We do get two new traits. We have this one right here, Master Vampire. This sim wants to become a wise and powerful vampire. And we also have Vampire Family. This sim wants to create a family of vampires. Uh, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this one right here. But sadly, we do not get any new traits, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of them. Let's do Evil as well. And uh, we'll do Romantic. And then, of course, you have a dark self, uh, but I don't really feel like doing it. I'm pretty sure we get a new walk, though. That's not a walk. Yeah, we do, right here, creepy walk. I'm going to do that one. That one looks funny. Uh, of course, we've got our dark self. I'm going to see copy sim to dark form. Yeah, we'll just keep her the same. So now let's go ahead and do this guy as well. I'm just going to change his body look. And I'll just throw him in. Let's do that one with a little more muscle on him. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and look in what he's got at a dark form. So you don't have to have a dark form, uh, but you can if you want to. I'm going to keep a dark form. I'm just going to put this hairstyle on him, probably in a black. And then I'll just go ahead and edit some of his features that I want. Let's just throw around. I'm going to add him a little mole. It's just, I'm just playing around with the settings right now. Just gotta go accept a follow request on Instagram. Let's see. I really like these eyebrows. They're just, ugh, they're so fun. Okay, I'm just gonna throw a little bit more onto them. Not too much, not too much. And I think I'm gonna put these fangs on them. Do I want these? Hmm. I don't know, I might. What is this? Is this like braces or something? Those look weird. I think I'm gonna go with these, because they look freaky creepy. Uh, so that's all we've got for them. Let's see what we have for shirts. We only get three new shirts for males. This one right here. This one right here. And this one right here. I think I'll probably put them in this shirt. Uh, and then we'll just throw on one of the new pairs of jeans that we have. Probably this one right here. And then I guess we'll throw on the only pair of shoes we get. Let's go ahead and look in accessories. None for the men. Full body outfits. I don't think we'll get any, but I'll go check. Oh, we do get five of them. I don't know. Did I check the females for that? I don't think I did. But for females, we get three new ones. Okay, I like this one, actually. I might keep her in this. We also get this dress over here. And we also get this dress right here. Uh, but I think that kind of looks like Corpse Ride to me right there. But I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm just going to go ahead and put her back in what I had before. Ugh, so many. Okay. Okay, back in my shoe as well. Now I'm just going to go ahead and maybe put him in one of these new full body outfits that we've got. We've got this one right here. Got that one right there. That one kind of looks like Sherlock Holmes or something. I don't know. Got that one, we've got this one, and we have this one. I actually like this one a lot right here. So I'm just going to throw them in, I guess I'll put them in the black one with those white shoes. So that's contrast. Uh, so that is all the stuff that we have, unless we get like new tattoos. Probably not. Let's see. I don't think, yeah, these are from like Get to Work and City Living. Okay, those aren't new tattoos, but... We'll just keep him in that, and I guess we'll go for Vampire Family for him, and we'll do, I guess, Romantic. Let's do... Is Blood vegan? I don't know if Blood is vegan, but... 
Who knows? And we'll just go with mean and perfectionist. We'll just go ahead and create his dark form, and it'll be a copy of that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in to the new world that we get. All right, guys, so we are here, and uh, so the new town we get is called Forgotten Hollow. I love the little bad things. I don't know why. I just do. It's called Forgotten Hollow, and you get five new lots. I probably just go ahead and uh, move them into this one over here. I'll just do that little free real estate on cheat. And I'll just go ahead and choose this one. So this one has two beds and two baths. And the lot traits are Vampire Nexus. And this one is a registered vampire layer. So I guess you get new whatever they're called. So I'm just going to go ahead and move them into this lot furnished. And I will see you all whenever we get there. Alright guys, we are here now. And I actually really like this house. It's pretty, pretty neato. Neato. What is this? Sizzling epidermis. Oh, she's in the sun right now. Okay, so that is pretty cool that you actually get that little trait thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and move them into the little house. And I guess there's like some sort of garlic smell because, yeah, what, being near garlic, where's garlic? Do they have new plants or something? I do not see any garlic around here. Please tell me, is this garlic? What, what is that? I'm really confused right now. Oh, is that hanging garlic? I think this is hanging garlic, right? It's Garmay Garlic Garland. Okay, they have a lot of these. No, they don't. Just that one? No, they have a lot. Why is there so much garlic? Garlic wreath. Oh, I guess this is a house for people to ward away uh, vampires. I'm just going to go ahead and go and delete all of these and show you some of the items that we get that are new. God, why is there so many of them? God damn. They really hate garlic. Garlic. Oh my god. They really hate vampires. Like, seriously. Like, you did not have to go that extreme. They're literally all over the place. Any other ones? Jesus Christ. Okay, let's just... Okay. Let's delete all these. This is taking forever, to be honest. Should not have bought this house. Do are they hanging it, too? Goodness gracious, she just can't get away from the garlic. There's some on the back. God damn. Okay. Oh, more. Let's just keep on deleting everything. Keep on getting money. Okay, and they have some up here. Is that it? Nope. More. God, why would you want to live in a house that literally just smells like freaking garlic? That's just disgusting. Okay, where else is it? I just... Yeah, more right there. More right there. More right there. I mean, seriously. Jesus. Pete's. Okay. So now, I actually really like this house. It looks pretty nice. Oh, what is that? A lair? Oh, God. Probably, and you've got more garlic up there. Okay, finally. I think that's all the garlic. If it's not too bad, they're gonna die. I don't care. Uh, I don't know if you can die from garlic, but if you could, that'd be really weird. Um, so let's just go ahead and see what we get that's new. So we have a dry pine tree, a scraggly tree, a dead hawthorn tree, which is humongous, and a bine pine tree, a bear pine tree. Okay, so those are all the new trees you get. You also get some new fences. So you've got... Let me just go. Where's the little... Th do they not have it on this one? Okay, so you have this one right here. You've also got... Where is it? Disappear? I don't know where it went. Okay, this one right here. And you've got this one right there. I think that's it, if not, oops, but, yeah, that's it, okay. And then, of course, each one has a gate. I'm pretty sure only this one actually does have a gate that goes with it, uh, but who cares? And then you get two new railings, but do we have stairs? We have stairs inside the house. 
So we'll just go ahead and throw this white railing on there and get a little bit of a view of that. And then down here, I guess we'll put this one on there. So that one's kind of wrought iron or wrought iron. I don't know how you say it. Some type of iron thing. Oh, look, I think that's like a crow or something flying. And then you get a couple new floors. Let's see, you've got this one, Victoria Parquet. That looks pretty good. I might use that in, like, city living, because city living has some terrible flooring. I actually like that, though. Um, that's from city living. Anyway, so you get these two right here, which are okay, I guess. But, ugh, God, they look creepy. And then you get in some new tiles. And then, let's see, some more new stuff. What's that called? Dungeon-esque stone. Okay, that's great. Um, so that is all that that you get. And then, of course, you get a couple new wallpapers. Not too many. Just got that one and that. Both have bats on it, and I'm pretty sure that's all the wallpaper. Nope, more wallpaper. Oh, you get wall wallpaper. So you get some of that, some of that, and some of that. Which, that's in that color, but just recolored. Okay, so those are all those that you get. And then, of course, you get a little bit of... I didn't even know these were on here. Anyways, you get one new roof thing. So we can just go ahead and throw it on the roof. And just put it somewhere random. That makes no sense that it's right there, but we'll just keep it there anyways. And then, let's go ahead and go into build and buy mode. I'm sorry, I already clicked on everything because I like it all to look clean. But you get one new counter one new, uh, whatever that's called, um, one new, uh, cabinet, so you only get three new things, I didn't know, do I, oh, I have auto counters on, that's why I was like, yeah, usually that does not happen, so those are all the things that you get in there, and then, for toilets, you get a new toilet, uh, you get a new, shower tub combination and a new type of sink right there so that's all that you get there of course you get some new lights but i'm not going to do those yet and then you get some new beds so you've got this one right here let me go ahead and do like money okay okay testing cheats true i can't type testing cheats true money blah 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 no. Money, blah, blah, blah. There we go. What? Minus four million dollars. That made no sense, but okay. So you get one new type of bed, and you get three new coffins. Um, if I could fit them all over here, which I can't. This one looks pretty neato, but you also get one new mirror and one new dresser so those are all the bedroom items that you get you also get three new um curtains but i don't feel like putting them up because i can't find them this is one of them and then you have two more i just don't know where they've disappeared to oh here there and you get this one and this one you also get a clock right there so that all matches up right there so let's go ahead and jump in here you get three new couches i believe or well two new couches and like i think it's like a wooden rod rotten chair or something like that you've got this one right here which is a couch combination with this one and then you just have this random looking love seat but it's made out of stone i don't know who would want to sit in a stone love seat but be my guest and then you get one new fireplace and I think you get a couple statues. You've got pedestals all over the place. I don't feel like placing them right now, though, so... Yeah, that's cool. You don't get any new televisions, but you get a lot of paintings. A lot, a lot of paintings. You get a bunch of holes in your wall. Do whatever you please with those. And you just... You have way too much stuff. Like, not way too much stuff. I'm glad they're adding a lot of items, but I mean... It's a lot of stuff that's pretty much unnecessary. Cracks in your wall, 50 cracks in your wall. I mean, it's kind of, kind of pushing it. 
Um, and then you get a new dining table, actually two new dining tables. You've got this one, and you have a matching one, just a little bit longer. And then you have two new types of dining chairs. You've got this one right here. And you've got... where did it go? Uh, and you've got this one right here. So you just get two new types of dining chairs, and you also get a new type of bar. I didn't even know that was a bar. But anyways, uh, you get one new bar right here. And no new bar stools, but you do get a lot, a lot of lights. A lot of lights. I think it's just a couple, but I mean, they're pretty good. Let me just go filter it, because I don't feel like finding all of them. So you get... A couple new floor lamps, and then you get some wall scones, and a table lamp as well. I'll just throw that over there. And then you have another table light right here, which I'll just... Is this a table light? No. Wait, is it? I don't know. What is this? Spooky candle? I, I have no clue what it is, to be honest. Let me see. Can I go place it on their dining table? Okay, so it is a table light. I like that table right there. Uh, and then you get, a course, a couple of chandeliers. Just put that one right there. That one's literally touching the floor. And then you've got just this simple one right there. So, let's see. I know you get, I think, one new thing in here. Two, well, one. We've already used that. An organ. So you get an organ now. I think this house might have one already. Nope, I'll just go throw one in right here. God, keep clicking it too many times. Just got to BB move objects on, and we'll just sell that. Put that right there. Okay. And then we have just a baby bassinet and one new toy. And then finally in here, I don't believe we got anything new, just a bunch of statues. Uh, and a bath towel. Important, very important. And we've got just like some ivy and moss on the wall. Just really whatever, just some random things. So that is pretty much all the build objects that I'm pretty sure we actually have access to. Uh, but other than that, I think I'm just going to go ahead and move my sims into that other place. But I really like this house. It's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and move them into the other house. And I will see you all whenever we get into that other house. I can't think of what it's called. But that other house. So I'll just see you all when we get there. Alright guys, so we are now here in live mode. Uh, we are just at their creepy looking cottage shack home. Ugh disgust me, but we're just here. I don't really know what we're supposed to be doing, but I know we're not supposed to be in the sunlight, so we're just going to go ahead and put them into the house right now. And let's just go ahead and see the new interactions that we can actually perform on the new Sims. So we're just going to click on Lauren, or Lorna, I think that's her name, Lorna, um, with it, and we'll just go ahead and vampire so you can grant oh you can't drink okay uh-huh okay so you have to for vampire training and offering it requesting and offering vampire training you either have to be a different rank or have to be high enough for ranked and you cannot drink another sims plasma or vampires plasma so that's pretty much all the things that we have. Um, I know that you could sleep in coffins, so I'm going to try that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this boring bed right here and get two new coffins. So we'll just throw the most expensive one in here because it looks pretty cool, to be honest. We'll just put that in there. And I guess we'll just remove that and put this right here. No, that don't work. We'll just, whoa, whoopsies. I don't know, we'll just have one of them sleep outside, I guess. Is that possible? Probably. I guess we'll have him sleep outside. 
So he can go ahead and hibernate. What does that mean? Probably means like sleep the entire time, which is pretty cool. So we'll just have both of them just go ahead and hibernate right now. Uh, so right here, look, you got needs. So you have vampire energy. Use energy to perform powers to protect themselves from the harsh rays of the sun. So that is pretty cool. Do they just stay in there the entire time? I think they do. Uh, so we've got this new neighbor coming over right now. What is this right here? Next reward, gain one power point. How do you gain a power point? Okay. This is pretty cool, guys. So you can go ahead and just gain, like, stuff. What is this? Withered stomach? Okay. Guilty drinker. And uncontrollable hissing. I think I'm probably going to be doing a kind of... What is this? Eternally welcome. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do this one. This one seems pretty cool right now. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now I can go ahead and just welcome myself into other people's vampire houses. So you've got another type. So you got a fledgling vampire, a minor vampire, a prime vampire, a master vampire, and Grand Master. So I guess whenever you reach a new rink, I guess you probably have to buy like all of these. And by doing vampiric things, or vampiric, yeah, vampiric things, you gain power points. And I'm pretty sure with those power points, you can go ahead and buy some strengths and some weaknesses. So you can just go ahead and level up your vampire as you go. So that is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and see is he a regular person okay so he he's a vampire how boring i kind of want to go ahead and find somebody that's not a vampire i don't think this guy's a vampire he's definitely not a vampire right here so we'll just we're just like um come teleport there now where'd you go girl where did she just go I actually think she, like, disappeared just now. We're just... Drinking deeply grants more thirst. Okay. Well, grants her. We're just gonna ask some permission. Where did he, she go? Okay, so she's still in here. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait. And just bring her over to wherever this is over here. Where did sh where did he go? I think he disappeared. Oh, is that him? No, that's definitely not him. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. So he's right over here with uh, Mila Munch. Yes, I do know her name. Okay, so he's not letting us drink his blood. So that literally just asks you a one-way ticket for me to drink your blood. So I'm drinking it right now. No matter what you say even though she's pretty much literally standing in there. So she's gonna just hypnotize him. No, not working. Okay. How embarrassing. Is it because her vampire energy's going down? Okay, so, apparently we suck at being a vampire. He's still sleeping in his creepy looking coffin. And we're just going to go ahead and come over here and do some vampiric things to her. We're going to compel her for a small drink. She's just, of course, just going to stand over here. We're just going to wait for our sim to arrive. What is this? From being in the sun? Does that mean she's going to die? I think she's literally dying right now. To be honest, I actually do think she's dying. That'd be pretty funny. I kind of want to watch it happen. Like, she's literally about to die right now. Her vamp- She is dying. That is hilarious. Okay, so we are actually experiencing death in the middle of nowhere. And we have no friends, so... Yeah, that's great. She's probably just gonna walk right past us. I'm betting you. Nope. She literally has no clue who we are and she's crying. 
Okay, that's just weird. No one cares about you. What is this? Okay, that's pretty weird. Does she actually die, or can she, like, live? I thought vampires don't die, though. Oh, okay, so... She is dead. What does that mean? Leave Sugar Skull Offering? I'm just gonna go ahead and... Where did it go? What the heck? Come on. Come with me. Okay, well... This doesn't want to come with me, uh, but he's sleeping anyway, so it don't matter. So his whatever you call that is up right now. We're just going to go ahead and bring him to the... Oh, wait, no, it's nighttime, so that's good. So we're just going to come over here and find her little thing, and we're just going to leave a sugar skull offering, even though I have no clue what that means, but I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, so he is literally, like, mourning or something. Gesture of respect was appreciated. And sent a Day of the Dead celebrator to roam the neighborhood. What does that mean? Can you people explain to me? I don't know what that means. Uh, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure he has no clue that she just died. Dude, it's literally 8 o'clock. What, what are you talking about? Can I have both of them die? I kind of want to watch that happen. That'd be funny. I think they're going, that he's going to die. If he dies, I will laugh so hard. But I don't think he will, because he's literally not really getting uncomfortable at all. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. It's not really a part, it's just an overview. And I actually like this pack pretty much. I forgot what it was called. It's going to call it a stuff pack. But I do like this game pack a lot um but if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i try to post videos weekly but sometimes it's every other week but most of the time it's weekly but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed subscribe like do all that fun stuff i will see you all in the next video bye guys